Okay, we're good. Sound check. All right, guys. Welcome to another episode of the Strong Fit Podcast. Uh, and this week oh, we are being. Voice. I'm always. I always. I always. You like always have start a like you start. Yeah. yeah. Um, wait, wait, wait. This week we are sponsored by Kinder. Yes, Kinder. <laughs> the what, what was it that Alex called it? The jamming fuel of. What did you put on the post? It was awesome. Uh, I had Behind delicious. the scenes. Good delicious. Good delicious. Good delicious. Delicious. Something. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> um, the fuel of the workouts. Yep. So this week we're going to get into torque and rotation and kind of take it back yeah. old school a little bit, but in a new point of view. So right. a, one more depth to our movement box and yep. the torques and the torque chains along with rotation and kind of where we see the yeah the and issues. Yeah, and then like an old school uh, shoulder issue we've seen for a long time. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have a take on it because I've been going through it. I'm going to explain why. But I've seen a lot of fighters with exactly the same issue, which in a way is a lot of the issue we saw with crossfitters, but just from a different idea. And I think right. I figured out, the, at least with the fighters, I know what's wrong. Yeah. It's the same idea, I believe, with the crossfitters and then how to fix it. Awesome. So I'm kind of excited that one. Yeah. So Let's get started back kickboxing it. like three months ago. Yeah. And, and uh, at the same time, I started to do the long runs with Janina, so sprint, right? Yeah. So I ended up with grappling, kickboxing, and sprinting. So it's three days a week, four days a week because I do kickboxing twice. And so it's hard on the body because it's new and it's full speed, right? So There's I'm like, all right, let me, yeah, <laughs> my feet are so sore. As I get better, my feet get more sore, not less. So I'm like, right, right. so that's awesome. <laughs> so I was like, all right, so obviously I have to back off on the lifting because I didn't want to jam the lifting and add that kind of volume together. I thank God I got smarter as I got older. I knew I couldn't take it. So I was like, well, let me do an experiment. Let me take out the heavy stuff, uh, the lifting and everything, and just do body weight training as my fifth day right. and see if I can, because it'll be more athletic, which I usually respond better to, and see if I can make it work like that. And the first six weeks was fine. I did a lot of body weight stuff, uh, you know, rope climbs. Yeah or pull-ups, all that kind of stuff. Let's see if it's enough. And at first, didn't lose muscle mass. I was like, okay, cool. It's less taxing on the system. I've been lifting for a while. Let, let's see where that goes. Around six, seven weeks, I started to get what I thought was shoulder pain. Yeah. Right around the AC joint and then shooting through and even right. having it on the front right here, right. toward the front delt and everything. And I was like, hmm, all right. So it's on the hook, right? Yeah. Just every time I hit, I was like, oh, it's starting point. to get a bit cranky, but I figured exactly that, right? Massive impact, uh, it's normal. I'm just maybe hitting wrong technique or whatever. And then it just kept getting worse and worse and worse to the point where I couldn't do this and reach for the, you know, reach for the soap up. And, uh, ooh, okay. Yeah. And then suddenly I'm doing... So basically like the super got super inflamed and all this. It's not even inflamed to... there. It's just I couldn't move. Like, you know, there I would be like... Ow. And then, uh, and then right. literally it was like this. Or well, I had to do it a few times. And I'm like, okay. That, and then, ooh, that pinches. Or... Oh, no, not there. Right. And I'd be like, ah. so it's base. It's not gone, not completely, because I still have weird movement. Like here, I feel like there's a, you know, like almost like a tightness there. It was like long head of the bicep insertion. Exactly. So first thing I realized was that it's actually not a shoulder problem. It was a bicep issue. So yeah. what did I do? As usual, I decompose everything. So first of all, what did that tell me, which is something I knew, but I wanted to test it again, is that I cannot fall below certain levels of strength. Right. If I don't have one session a week on strength, and for me it's not static as much as carries, I'm screwed. Right. My so body structure still needs to be there. <laughs> no matter what. And even if You're you spend, you can't go past it. <laughs> <laughs> and I might have said that before. Yeah. Uh, a wise man was. Yeah. Said, and one of the, ones, the wider exactly. the structure, the higher the pyramid. <laughs> Turns out he was right. Who knew? <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Um, and every time I try, I'm like, no, nope. it doesn't work. Yeah, out. No, it doesn't work. Yeah. So I need to keep. Yeah, the structure going. So I was like, okay, fine. So uh, let me go back to lifting. But this time, I'm like, let's figure out exactly how, what this is. So, uh, up, so pecs, biceps, biceps, teres major, and rear delt. Those yeah. are the first things I tested. So how do I do it? And one day I would do just pec, see if my shoulder was better. Sometimes just bicep, see if my shoulder was better. Uh, just how rear would, delt. Sorry just, to cut you yeah, off. How no, would you no. cut off? How would you gauge the better? Because I think that's like, it's not a magic pill that, not a, not a magic pill, but it's not a, it's better 100%. So how oh, no, do you no. gauge the better? Because I think that's a big misconception that people are like, oh, I'll just do pecs. And then after that session, it should be 100% no. again, but it's, it's not, it doesn't work. You know, way. it's here, one yeah. to 10. If I'm at eight, 
the next day I do the, the pecs, like for, like for example, three hours later, yeah. I'm still at eight. But more importantly, the next morning, okay. I go and I go, okay, it's a little bit better. It's at six instead of eight. Right, okay. And that's how I went, because the, that's a very good point you're making, but the, I wasn't trying to figure out the magic pill. Mm -hmm. I was like, my, my idea was like, I lost the structure. I'm just two months-ish was enough, especially with impact. If I had not been boxing, there wouldn't be right. a problem. But with the impact and all of this, it put so much stress, right. especially as I tried to go, because Paul treats me you like I'm a fighter. <laughs> oh. He's like, hey, you know, you, you're you good hard, and you're yeah. doing really good. Let's go harder. I'm like, yeah, kicks right. the shit out of me. Do I have a bruise today? I think so. Because he started, you know, like blocking. Yeah. I oh, went, blah! And like, oh, okay, fine. Appreciate um, it. And he smacked me once or twice in the ear. I was like, oh, I like We're it. There we go. Yeah, tomorrow. exactly. Like, do you remember I am? Um, yeah, K1 is not, anyway. Um, what was that? Oh, yeah, right. So I'm like, I need to build a structure. But so I wasn't looking for a magic pill. I was like, as I lay off uh, the strength, which one? is a responsible for that long head of the bicep being, so why? Why yeah. the long head of the bicep? Is it too weak? Is it taking over for something else that shouldn't be there? Is it a connection? Do I need one muscle? Do I need a group of muscle together? Right. Is it a torque chain? Is it so I went back to the typical assessment, but I started to decompose it and go, okay, obliques, fine. So just pecs, is it better? Then I did just biceps, is it better? Then I did uh, just lats, right. terrace major, is it better? Just uh, real delts. Then I went pec and bicep. Then I went pec and uh, um, terrace major. Then I went pec and um, real yeah. delt. Then I went terrace major, real delt, bicep. Then terrace major, real delt. I mean, and then and I started to group yeah. and, I, and I saw uh, what was working. And what I realized is that the first issue was the short head of the bicep on the right was just gone. gone. At some point in the exercise, everything went well, and I realized that this was cramping for two hours. But instead of my shoulder, the short head was cramping. Okay. Uh, I was like, oh, so I start to activate this properly. Yeah. So doing actually a kind of a bicep opener type movement, but on the cable. Yeah. Right. And uh, do that, shoulder is better. But where it actually got the best is when I did bicep and farmer's work. And then suddenly, I finish the farmer's work, I wait an hour, and my shoulder doesn't feel like it's almost pinching. It's like it never happened. There was right. like a like a calmness to it. I was like, ooh, next day, hey, it really it's good. so much better. As soon as I do the farmers, shit is gone. Right. So I'm like, huh. So let me look at this, right? And so I started to go through it. And the reason I chose the farmers, because I was like, all right, so the, pro the thing with the hook is, what do I get? I get internal torque, obviously, but also right. internal rotation. And it's internal torque, internal rotation, but it's also at a very weak end range, shall exactly. we say, right? So right. It's, it's not like you're going to be here at yeah. it, like arm wrestling you're where you're there. super tight. Yeah. You're it's there. It's very open. Right. And so the mobility of the bicep, because I'm going, if I want the short head of the bicep, so, and we know that internal torque muscle is eccentric and isometric. And right. I was like, right. So maybe is when I punch, I can't maintain the tension on the short head of the bicep. So therefore, I go to the trap or right. vice versa. I go to the trap. Therefore, I let go of the bicep, and when I hit like this, all the tension goes Just straight going, yep. through the long head of the bicep, which is supposed to be toward concentric, which was I'm using to go faster. To go, but yeah. for the impact, so I'm using you know um, internal rotation, but toward the long head of the bicep, which is more external torque to just generate the power. power. But then when I get there, I'm supposed to just you know put in isometric okay. and just go there. Yeah. So by the way, there was technical issues at first because I haven't boxed in so long, where the trap took over. I'm trying to go too fast swinging with my upper body inside of my hips. Right. So it was that. So I'm trying to work some torque in a way where I shouldn't, but that was a technical issue. But in the meantime, as I hit, this cannot take the isometric force being required of the bicep because as you say, it's so open that max is, force yeah. and I always had with, back, with biceps anyway. Right. Well, because we used to, you used to always have pain doing uh, like incline dumbbell yeah. flies and everything exactly. always caused always the always pain. made me because I always had with biceps. Yeah. My, so the short head, especially on the right, cannot take the isometric. Right. I was like, all right. So how do I work the isometric on the short mm. head? I was like, well, I know farmers do it, but then I realized something as well is which is why I started to think. Let me try more farmers because I do it as a warm up yesterday, and my shoulder is really good today, even though I did like two days kickboxing in a row and everything. Right. Is that the farmers make me work internal torque, but not in internal rotation. Right. Right. So 
Okay, but then uh, this becomes uh, interesting in the sense of all fighters have that issue. Yeah. Paul, my coach, had that issue. That's why he came to see me for, so I could fix yeah. his shoulder, which I did all by doing. All I mean, all martial artists that have a staggered stance and, with one higher up. And, yeah. and, and that hook. And that hook. Yeah. Which, and so yeah. I was looking, it's the same thing uh, when they have, people have the, me, it's my uh, hook hand. But even with the one that has the, the back hand, they still overloop like this and right. they turn. So they do that internal they rotation, right? That rotation. And when they're here, it's very hard to keep the bicep active. Right. Because that motion right here, it's very hard to keep the pec and, and the bicep. So if you have not developed the structure properly, it'd be very easy to just use right. the trap, let go of the bicep and the pec. Yeah. Well, and just focus on, especially when you're thinking about that type of power, and I think where many physios, and right. as we start to look at the breakdown of the mechanics, right. they're looking at the joint and the levers to yes. try and generate as much power not necessarily the muscles that need to generate the power. Right. Yeah, that should be generating, should the, power. Be generating the power. So what's interesting about that, because I was asking fighters um, where they had the pain, which is exactly the same, and what do they do to fix it? And if you look, whenever they have that shoulder, the first thing they do is this. External rotation. But then, yeah, but more than that, external torque. Yeah. And then that brought actually a question that led me to the farmer's work. It's like, but let's say the issue is internal torque and internal rotation. There's too much of it. Right, so too much internal rotation. So what would be the opposite of internal torque in internal rotation? Not necessarily the opposite in a way, uh, uh, in more in the sense of balancing that. Yeah. Then I was like, well, the opposite of internal torque in internal rotation would be internal torque in external rotation. Yeah. But that's not what they make them do. No. What they make them do is external rotation in, in external, external torque. torque. But then it's not the same system. Right. Because they're not in the same chain. So then you don't balance anything. You just you work just something further else. And further out, well, yeah. you just work something else. But then you're not going to balance the internal rotation, and maybe that's why it doesn't work. Yeah, they're in the wrong system. Right. But it's it's but then it's a, I mean, you you see it. It's awesome because we still find our own gaps within our training, which makes us yeah. better coaches. Exactly. But so I mean, just from that conversation, you can apply that even if you think about baseball and pitchers. Right. What do they do? They're always focusing on external rotation and external, and external torque. torque, and then never and they're they're having to massively internally rotate to pitch. It's the same right. levers. Or even when they go here, it's yeah. still internal torque, but then it would be in an in external an rotated rotation. shoulder. Right. And so all they're gonna do is this way. But I'm like, but that's not the sense of the movement. What right. you need is internal torque in external rotation. Right. So people. So first of all, people are gonna say, how could you do that? Well, for example, and that's why I went to the farmer's work is because I work internal torque. But my shoulder is not, not internally good. rotated. It's in neutral it's position. Neutral. Yeah. So, but even so, I was playing. I could even take um, the cable, turn it like this, and start to and do so pec work externally mm. rotated. Right. But then that's what I need. Yeah. So I did it while with farmers because then my arm is fully uh, lengthened mm. out, which puts the mobility of the pi the bicep, bicep. Yeah. at play, which is what happens on the hook. Yeah, for sure. So I was like, aha. Yeah. But so, but that brings interesting questions because then imagine if we take the, the movement box that we had and suddenly you have internal torque, external torque, but internally, externally rotated. You know, like if we had yeah, like a, exactly. a diagram. Right. It's a circle. It's, yeah. a, it's, it's an arch with an arch. We're back, exactly. <laughs> we're back at it. So a wise man once said, uh, yeah. But so I was like, but that's, that's the thing I've been, we've been trying to say for the longest mm -hmm. time or why the physio got it wrong. Yeah. Now I get it. It's because they think the opposite of internal torque, internal rotation is external torque, external rotation. rotation which is not it's not. It's internal torque, external rotation. Right. And so then I brought a second point where you end up doing this on the hook, which is which a mistake, is by the way, because you're trying to create, just put your chin down and you don't yeah. have to lift your shoulder up. So that's right. a problem. So what they have is elevation of the shoulder blade. What's the opposite of elevation? Depression of the shoulder blade. Yeah. But that's not what they make people do. What they make people do is retraction. retraction. So you have the opposite of retraction is protraction, which right. crossfitters can't do. Yeah. And, but the opposite of the elevation is depression, which I would work on the farmer's work as well. Because yeah. it's it there. The and by the way, the overhead yoke carry. Yeah. So I'm like, so, and what does a, the overhead yoke carry works? Internal torque in the externally rotated rotation. shoulders. Yeah. I was like, so that's why it works. And yeah. it works with depression as well. Exactly. So, Circle within a circle within a circle, yeah. right? We have, are you depression versus elevation and not retraction as opposite of no, elevation? Obviously. And we have internal torque in external rotation, rotation to fix too much internal torque in internal right. rotation. Yeah. And so now we have a diagram as to something we've been doing from the beginning, but we knew, now yeah. I, I'm starting to understand why it, understands it didn't work. better. Yeah, yeah, it fits yeah. better.
So that's how I've been doing it on the, on the fighters because it's too much internal rotation. So on pole, it's working really well. His shoulder is better. Yeah. But then I was starting- So now yeah. just devil's advocate here, just yeah. because, so you should be, you shouldn't, but when you're not punching, we yeah. should be working external rotation with In, internal torque. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> this, doing these, right? yeah, yeah. The ones which by the way, I do on the, the uppercut cut and it never hurts yeah. because then I'm properly activated, the especially here because yeah. it's yeah, like, I, like I, here is more I, connected. Again, I think going back to the movement box and just being able just for people that are trying to catch up on the conversation, yeah. like the movement box, when we look at the corners, like one of the corners, we have the types of contraction. And I think that, you know, I, I don't do as much kickboxing as you do, but I, I work yeah. with Tyrone and everything. Well, you see it. And yeah, I see it a lot. And then when I hit, when I'm hitting the bag and I'm going through the hooks, like it's, it's funny because for me, it's like I feel the bicep right away yeah. and the upper pec, but I, it, it tires me out. So like he laughs right. at me because I get so tired out. But I think it's because I'm just you trying know. to focus on keeping tension. And guess what? You don't have shoulder pain. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> guess what? I had shoulder pain. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, so it's, bicep it's, uh, pain, but yeah. it's, it's looking but you at have the strong types bicep. of contraction. Because we were talking about it yeah. the other day. Like you have this, which I don't. Right. This part is completely yeah, soft so, for me. The brachialis. I, mean, I don't want to yeah. do a bicep curl. Show but my muscles. Yeah, exactly. But so like I've never had like, I, I've, and I've always been jealous of people that have like this like they do like their curl, like yeah. they, they do, and they yeah, have the like gap. this huge yeah. gap here. But that's and I've never thing. had it. But what people don't, yeah, but that's, the thing is here. See, yeah. you have, you have, he has a strong muscle there. Where me, yeah. there I'm completely soft. Like the brachialis, that's probably why my form is so overdeveloped so, yeah. here. Because my brachialis was always weak and always had weak biceps. So when I'm here, me, I have a very hard time feeling the biceps when I hit. That's not where I feel right. it. Me, I feel it there. Right there, the whole. But thing. that's where I. Go. But oh, and then I, you know, like because again, I'm going like you know. Plus with the movement, I have to use my legs so much that it's I'm supposed to stay here. But since everything goes up, it's kind of easy to go up with a trap. Right. You're stressed you're out. Here. You're trying to go even faster. Right. And going to the trap is simple. Like usually after kickboxing, yeah. I'm like, ooh, okay. So you could see where. The stress Activation of the in. trap takes away the pegs and the bicep, and we are back to CrossFit in the in the old days. So you yeah. could see where that would come from. But then, if you even if you take the the stuff we say and you go logically, then the farmer's walk it's would be one same. of the best way yeah. to get out farmers of that problem, which is what we saw with a with a CrossFitter. So I was mm -hmm. like, aha, uh -huh. that's a conversation: is torque versus rotation. Rotation. Yeah, and being able to balance those out. Yeah, but so I remember the CrossFitters like of the. Uh, of the uh, earlier times is what did we see? We saw a lot of Constant, external torque, external but external rotation. rotation at the same time, so yeah. then what they didn't have is internal rotation. Right. Right. And so what did we do? We gave them a peg stick. Right. Which is all neutral. Yeah. And, and then they go, you remember with the stuff yeah. and then right away they go to world internal, internal torque, but then this time in internal in rotation. rotation and then they all did better. Right. Because they sucked at internal torque in internal rotation, the opposite of fighters, but they ended up with the same issue. Because the biceps right. can do shit. Yeah. The internal torque. So the internal torque is a problem for both, but with a different level of rotation. Right. Yeah. Like it's, uh, I mean, like that, that's it, another yeah. layer. Yeah. Suddenly, even on, on the, when we do the assessment yeah. on like on the, on the movement box, no, we I mean, we, we do this anyway, naturally. But then suddenly it's like the angles and everything that, because I remember being reminded me of bodybuilders who do all angles when they do the pec right. or stuff. And this, I was like, there's a guy out there That's named uh, Joe, Joe Stetics. He's the guy that can, he goes like this. Oh, yeah, yeah, and he yeah. Makes and like the pecs he goes the rrr, like this. There's yeah. a dude that does it now with his pecs and his lats that I, I'll send you. Oh, it looks, it's creepy, but it's really cool looking. It's very interesting. <laughs> yeah. Um, but so it's funny because he's been putting up like the, these tutorial videos and the dude, smart, questionable. Yeah. But, you know, he's a cool guy. Yeah. Uh, but the way that he coaches is, and, and like the way that he's teaching you is, you can tell it he does it by practice. So he has like the cables yeah. and he's showing you, he's like, you know, if you want to get more front delt, I'm going to do this at the top. If I want yeah. to get more of the upper butt of the upper pec, I'm going to go supinated. Yeah. When yeah. I go neutral, I can get it right into the ribs and yeah. into the sternum. And so like the way that he explains it is, is that it's, it's the bodybuilder method of making sure there's connection to that muscle, yeah. which we talk about a lot and yeah. being able to truly understand when that body, when that, when that muscle is contracting, um, and when, how long can you sustain it, right? So the, the, I think the biggest thing that we see, the, the gap within the kickboxers has been isometric because there's no need for isometrics. Anyway, that is very true. Right? And, yeah. and there's no not, eccentric. No eccentric. No, yeah. So it's all concentric. So again, going back to the same 
high patterns of CrossFit. So maybe that's why CrossFit didn't work so well for MMA fighters, because now it's just fueling the same more of imbalance. The same. Right, more of the same. And if you look like when you want concentric, we know it's more ET, yeah. more traps. So maybe when you work just concentric, especially like that, naturally you're going to go to external talks. So naturally it's going to lead you toward ET, and then right. the IT chain starts to uh, starts, starts to, to fail. Yeah, yeah. And then when they do end up going towards IT, they do more yoga, which again balances and feeds towards the but IT you need stress. side. But, they but still, you need stress. They need that neural output. Right, so right. The stress is yeah, not the intensity. Let's yeah, not call it stress, the but the intensity is not nearly high enough in order to do that. Mm -hmm. But me, I find it, okay, so one of the reasons I find interesting, that's more from an assessment perspective, is I have, if you look the way I, we, I go, our problem is always the same. I start with a more complex movement, let's say row, shoulders, row pull and push. Yeah. Right, so you're not capable, this is working, but not enough. You're chilling too much, it's just I'm asking your body too much because you're that fucked up. So right. let's say you're not too fucked up, hopefully I can do just row pull and push. If I can, with an, uh, someone who's hurt, an athlete or whatever, if I can just figure out something that the rope pull and push is enough, then that's all we're gonna do. I just want you to get better at that. Yeah. Let's say you have too much imbalances, too much compensating, taking over, I need to add something. All right, so I need lower on the waist scale, on the, on, not necessarily the waist scale, but the less complex movement, right? So right. I'll go to where, let's say, farmer's work, because then you get to control the bicep right. and everything. If that doesn't work, then I have to go all the way to isolation. I don't yes. like to do it so too it's like much. Defcon too. That's yeah, why I, just, I don't three. trust. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've stopped trusting people with their body awareness. <laughs> they have positional awareness, but body awareness <laughs> no, not they very do not. much. Yeah, and and that's working with very high level athletes where you're like, is that what you think a dumbbell press looks like? Like we're doing a commercial for a sandbag here, and there's a, a one of the fighters in the background doing dumbbell presses, and Julian's like, we can't put this out there. I'm like, they just don't. They're very good at. <laughs> Their body awareness is, is, is lacking. Their positional awareness of where they're positioning themselves right, they know is where they are. spot on. The body awareness meaning like the ability Inside. to maintain contractions and in, in that sense oh, is not That's on next there. podcast because attention into not talking. Oh, yeah, I got something that on that, that one. Yeah, that's on next podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's on next podcast on that one. Let me not go there. Yeah. I have it there. Oh, there's so something interesting that, on that. That for me is, a, is an, it's an interesting one. So, for, so we're always lowering the level of complexity the lower west just so that we can allow the higher right. neural output, the higher intensity. Right, right. So DEFCON 3 is full body awareness. I, I, right. You don't have it. So it's me trying to give you the body awareness. awareness. Yeah. And so I can't always do it on a more complex movement because you're busy doing the movement. So then I have right. to go on DEFCON 3 is isolation movement. I don't like to do it too much because it's just not the way the body likes to move, honestly. It's just... Right. Isolation is not, but sometimes it's required, like Jenna with the hammies or stuff like right. that. So I was like, all right. But then now I get to address isolation with a better weapon, yeah. which is that, the, the rotation versus the torque, in order to get to the body awareness mm -hmm. that is lacking. So in their case, too much internal rotation. All right, so I'm going to make you work if I have to in isolation in internal torque, but external rotation, rotation. which is what I've been doing. So I was doing... Uh, bicep curls yeah. using the cable, so it's like a bicep opener, but I would start completely internally rotated right. and then curl, but I had to curl feeling no the inside, right. the short head of the bicep. So it looks like I'm doing ET, but I'm not. Right. I'm actually doing internal torque because everything oh, goes yeah. toward the center, but fully externally rotated. See, just doing this, you can I feel the pressure in there because the, right. the whole thing is that I don't have the mobility there Remember, correctly. We were, ah, fuck, where were we? We were in Australia. Was it Australia at the Globo Gym? Yes, I think it was in Aust It's always in Australia. Uh, we, we were. Good, I, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was either. Yeah, it was either Australia or Singapore. Um, and we were doing. Remember, I was having issues with my what? Because just because yeah. of I don't know yeah, if you yeah. guys have seen, but uh, we've talked about on the other podcast. Not yet. Um, well, no, but we talked about yeah. the, that. You got the, fucked up, but we haven't gone into fully um, yet. Yeah. But we were doing because I can't. Like this one doesn't rotate all that yeah. well. And we were doing the externally rotated uh, tricep extensions, remember? To get right. this to, to start to get to this fire. to go. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Those still, I still do those every day and they hurt like a motherfucker. Right. But you have to stay. That's the and thing. That is external external rotation, when you do this, external people torque. will do yeah, an external torque. So that, that's yeah. the key is that confusion. And by the way, I created that confusion because I started with internal rotation at first. Right. And I realized now. I was only partially right in that one because I had not made the difference between rotation and torque yet. 
Right. In my well, mind, there and was... then when you look at torque, though, like especially like if you're if you're in the U.S. and you're going or anywhere in the world for that matter, uh, and you start to go into like the the fitness uh, fitness things yeah. and fitness education, and you start to go into like the physio world, yeah, they they use torque as a different concept as well. Yeah. So I saw I saw a diagram, and they're using torque on just the muscle, the the amount of torque that is needed. Right. To bring that to just muscle bicycle, contraction, but it doesn't. That just means yeah. muscle contraction. But again, I think the problem is that is the physios are flooding now the the personal trainers with that idea of that there's only rotation, like like right. the torque to like like the torque yeah. chains are not something uh, understood yet. Right, and and when you look at it in the, in the sports world, I'll, I'll say that again, it's they're looking at the leverages to create maximum amount of power, yeah. but not. Not in the movement being not well, yeah. Not in the movement being done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so if you go like everybody's working external, they're not just they think they're working external rotation, but they're working because of the movement that they make mm -hmm. people do. What they're really working is external torque. Right. So external rotation might be necessary, but in internal torque, and that's right. where they fuck it up, and that's why it only works for a while, and then then right. then I think then it stops because it's fundamentally the torque chains are not part of the system. Right. I think that's what they lack fundamentally. Yeah. I'm gonna have to show you the butterflies I've been doing. So I I grab a dumbbell yeah. and basically I go almost down to the bicep opener, yeah. but then I come all the way through. Oh, oh I don't see. Okay, it so gets, but you get the, you get everything. The but whole see, like works. just doing this there. That right that's there. where my shoulder pinch is. Yeah, is here. See if I contract the inside, like see that. Yeah. If I can start playing with that, that hurts. Know, start to that like right here, like that hurts. That pinches, and it's it's almost like a cramp. Right. But you see, it's not the form. That's my problem is I want to use the form. Yeah, but it goes right straight away. to the side though. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah, see what I mean? <laughs> I don't know and if you can see that on the video, but he's basically just going straight to the side yeah. though. Like the bicep is barely contracted. Right. It's, it's, yeah. it's very hard for me to go here and contract the short head of the yeah. bicep. It's like the whole thing, he wants to go this way. Right. But that's the right side or yeah. with, the, uh, with a broken foot. I was always external torque going anyway. Through, yeah. I mean, with motion mapping, if we go there, force relationship yeah. or whatever. But even going there and I try to contract the short head, this is work. Yeah. Like, and look, it's barely doing shit. Yeah. Like, I have to do so yeah, much work to do this. Yeah, the shoulder bouncing like crazy. Yeah, see what I mean? Yeah. So now we're working tension at extended positions. Right. We're well, I'm going to need over here, though, when yeah. I hook and I come right. here, like, if I don't have this activated, like, like right. here for me, like, to keep this activated, I have to work. And yeah. when I do this fast, I won't have time to think. Over, yeah. yeah. So I need the short head, which always has been weaker than the left anyway. It's my right biceps, I'm a lefty. But again, going back to the biceps, right. they've always been fucking weak. Now I'm starting to understand. Like, so there, there's certain, because you know, when I, as a kid, Arnold was doing this, well, that's all I'm going to do then. Right. And so I all went this way, but I think I was working more the pecs than the biceps or, you know, like even all the fondel, but never really truly isolating the, the biceps because I wanted to go heavier, because I wanted to use the weight Arnold was using, well, or like doesn't? the usual bullshit, <laughs> exactly. Um, I, I'd screw myself. Yeah. I, I didn't need anybody Pretty else. Sure. I did it myself. Um, but there's really a lack of capacity to engage the short head of the bicep, bicep. on both, but especially on the right. And that's when I right. think the, so the long head has to do all the work. And then, and, then and even here, like whenever I hit, I think I have to do this. You know, right. like you I'm you using, yeah, I have yeah. to do this to use there it's because I can't use that. You have to extend a little further yeah. out. Sure. <laughs> you wish. Um, so because I can't use the bicep, then I'm using extended. my side delt. Which, right. And then so that creates that gap right here, the AC joint. And right. the long head is just where, because that's the where the long head attaches, is just being destroyed. Destroyed, so again, basically. that's also why you probably need to build that rear delt. Right. To be able so to stay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Right. Yeah, exactly. And so, yeah, so when I go here, if, if it does that, and then, that, then the whole thing down. goes again. So there's a level of strength between the peg, some, but it's going to be bicep rear delt. Yeah. That it just needs, needs to, to be, to yeah. And in. guess where I get also those activated? Farmer's work. Yeah. Because it's all well, this. And, and this had been achy lately. So it seems that, um, again, it's narrowing down where I need the structure. For me, bicep and rear delt, you, if they don't stay strong, I'm fucked. With your farmer's carry, are you doing heavy, heavy, heavy? Or are you doing... Like, are you changing between heavy and, the, and then like more endurance? I'm, I'm going, so I can't endurance. go too light because otherwise I can just shrug right. and everything. So for me, it's usually about 80, 90 kilos per hand. Okay. And then I do like 50 meters. Okay. I could do 100. I'm probably going to move toward that. But again, I'm coming right back into it and I don't want to overdo it because I'm, I've, I've learned to be smart into not jamming 
every single stuff I can right. in the least amount of time possible and fucking myself up. Right. <laughs> I've done that. Uh, so right now what I'm doing is um, I do the biceps and then I do maybe like twice 50, three times 50 meters okay. with 80, 90 kilos. So nothing per crazy per hand, obviously. Yeah. Uh, nothing crazy, but it, it feels it feels heavy on the grip. It's yeah. just... No, for me, it's, I don't even need to it's warm up. I can just, just I can go at it. show up in the gym. That's that's what I would say is you show up in the gym, no warm up. What can you pick up and walk 50 meters without right. dying? 90 kilos, yeah. Per just, hand, it's not cool. that big of a... Just so, so that, people don't pick up 10 pound dumbbells. No. And, <laughs> and no no two kilo dumbbells off of the Philippines. Right. Yeah, like yeah. so it's it's heavy enough for me to have to use the pecs, the terrace major on the bicep. Right. Cool. And stabilize with the with the rear delts. Awesome. But, that's going to be the diagrams we're going to work on on the, on the movement box toward that, toward, especially, I think, for isolation work, is yeah. that, is torque versus rotation. I mean, it works so for We're going to have a version 2.0 of the movement box. Yeah. Because we need to change the energy systems a little bit. Well, anyway, because right? I have... Cause you know what? Lactate. Because I want to put the energy system toward lactate anyway, because yeah. that's where... Uh, I, th there's no aerobic versus anaerobic, for example. Right. Like, there's no anaerobic threshold, yeah. uh, which I've said, and uh, so I was wrong on the we'll anaerobic threshold. It, yeah. Well, because <laughs> I... You know why? Because I believed... What yeah. I read, right. and it's not always true. So yeah, there has to be a 2.0 on the movement box where we go uh, planes of movement, but then he has to go always torque and rotation. Well, we still need the planes of movement. So, uh, but then we well, have to. I think the torque chains have to be in right. there. Then. Yeah, because we. I mean, we used to have the planes of movements, and then we had the types of grip. Right. So instead the types of that, of grip can also mean rot that, that that's leads exactly, to the rotation. Right, right. That. So I think instead of grip, what we do is we do um, planes of movement into torque chains and then into rotation. Into uh, rotation. Yeah. And then the grip just fits within the rotation. Within yeah. I like it. That, awesome. That'll be the that two points. Like yeah. It's like, so like it's like a tree if you want yeah. out of the box. Perfect. And then your energy stem will go through like that anyway. But that one I have to f I have to close that loop. Yeah. Which I mostly did, but it's still uh, so. So yeah, the um, we're gonna approach uh, movement like the movement box all the way, which means instead of going into the typical energy system, if you look at lactate, it doesn't work like that because anaerobic threshold has to go. Right. The idea of aerobic versus anaerobic is not that simple anymore because well, lactate. Now you have is, the states though too, because the states right. have such a huge, a huge amount of implication you know I mean? into so what's going to happen. Gonna be, uh, there's going to be a tree so, there. Yeah, so now I think like that one's going to be more of like what state, right? State, so you have the state and, and then, then lactate. lactate because if be you go lactate, it's sympathetic anyway. Yeah. Uh, and, and there's all that stuff because if you look... Uh, you have like Disney December and then... <laughs> well, look at the state because <laughs> look at osteocalcin. Yeah. That's the sympathetic stuff. It blocks the parasympathetic stuff. So if you're in the mm -hmm. flow, you can't have impact. If you have impact, you can't yeah. be in flow. flow right. Yeah. That means you cannot be in flow if you have impact on right. the bone. So, um, either state or... Well, We're going to have then, a good time. That's going to be a great 2021, guys. <laughs> uh, like the movement box is about to change. So, types of contraction... It's about to become quantum quantum movement. Right, mechanics. so there's going to be a tree <laughs> on, on that because like the types of contraction... See, I just got his brain going. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to He's change like, the box. Damn it. I'm going to get messages at 2 o'clock in the morning. Richard, yeah, have exactly. come over, have stuff on the window. Yeah, I, 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 there's <laughs> definitely going to be stuff on the window. Like, there's, there's no changing that one. That'll be kind of exciting because that's the first, yeah. uh, the first box we had. So It'll be based on us and not on shit that people have put up. It, do you realize that's all the mistakes I've made? Yeah. Was that? Was right. me relying on other stuff? And no, nah, it's all the stuff we came up with. That's what's going on the box. Yeah. That's been every single mistakes I've made. It's been that. Right. It's been why well, it's written. So yeah, so is the Bible. I didn't help anybody. <laughs> now. So, uh, oh, it's going to be cool. Yeah. 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 Well, the awesome. movement box is about to change. Awesome, guys. Well, we'll call it there for this one. Yeah. Because otherwise, it's going to go into another rabbit hole, which I want to save for the next podcast. Yeah, it's the next podcast. That's so, be thank good. you guys. Follow us on Instagram, YouTube, subscribe, click here, click over here, Kitchen Protocol. Uh, I have our new, we have the nutrition group coming up. So, we have an eight week nutrition course, and we have the Find Your Damn Muscles coming up in Espanol también. Um, we're going to try and get more Spanish stuff out there yeah. and French, right, coach? Yeah. All the French are like, <laughs> no. like, 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 like. No. No. <laughs> oui, oui, no. oui, oui, oui. <laughs> no. Um, no. So keep following us, guys. Comment down below. Let us know what's going on. Have a good one. Take care.